Hey guys, welcome to SourceFed. My name is Elliot Morgan. And I'm Trisha Hirschberger. President Obama has waived provisions of a federal law, because you can do that if you're a president. Now, if you guys want to know what that federal law made illegal, you just calm down, okay? Don't you worry your pretty little heads about it, American people. It prevents guns. Guns to terrorists. Terrorists fighting against the Syrian government. Yeah, okay, so if you're wondering why the president can just willy-nilly start dealing arms like a Vegas poker dealer, it's because of this Arms Export Contract Act, which allows these provisions to be smashed to pieces, quote, if the president determines that the transaction is essential to the national security interests of the United States, or Syria. I added those last two words. But the waiver is only for certain members of the Syrian opposition who have been pre-selected and vetted. And Obama only decided to do this once it was confirmed that sarin gas was used on August 21st. Only said report did not say whether it was the Syrian army or the rebels that actually used said sarin gas. But U.S. Ambassador to the U.N., Samantha Powers, stated that the details, quote, make clear that only the regime could have carried out this large-scale chemical weapons attack. Only Powers counterpart, Russia's Vitaly Cherkin, I'm sure that's not how you actually say that, stated there's no airtight proof and that it allows, quote, everyone to draw their own conclusions, hopefully professional and not affected by political pressure. It'll take 15 days for the guns to be shipped to the Syrian opposition groups, which are increasingly dominated by radicals. That's faster than FedEx. And Republican Senator Bob Corker stated, our intelligence agencies, I think, have a very good handle on who to support and who not to support. And there's going to be mistakes. We understand some people are going to get arms that should not be getting arms. Arms, but we still should be doing everything we can to support the free Syrian opposition. Whew! That's a long quote. It was a long quote. It was draining, too. Mm-hmm. So what do you guys think? Should Obama be able to waive whatever laws he like to support any particular conflict? Let us know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, it helps us out a lot if you want to click the like button and you can subscribe to the channel if you're interested. Also, you can go to youtube.com slash sourcefednerd and go to Four Human Peoples and pick up posters of our faces. If you want me and Trisha in one poster, you have to get the SourceFed poster and the SourceFed source nerd, nerd poster, poster. Do a little arts and crafts and then put it, I don't know why you do that, in case you really like this video, I guess be the main I reason. like that poster, Yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah. I'm Elliot Morgan. I'm Trisha Hirschberger. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.